Howdy, howdy. We're back. Welcome to another edition of Tower Crane Television. I am your host, Jay Knight, the Tower Crane Guy. We are doing a video again today, um, except we're doing the outside forms, and I want to show you guys just how tricky these can be. It's a lot of trust between me and the, uh, the rig and sig guy out there and just the people working on the ground to make sure that everything goes smooth as possible. Um, we're uh, currently hooked up to one right now and we're gonna pull it. It's on the side where we have a lot of power lines. Um, we have a, I think it's 750,000 volt power line out there. And uh, yeah, it's uh, it can be tricky, you know, trying to pull those out of there and get them done correctly. I'm a little sunburnt from over the weekend. We went to a, our first car show and uh, it went great. We didn't win nothing, but it was a win for us uh, just to see uh, everybody go crazy over the car. So it was a really good time. Anyway, I'm gonna flip this camera around and show you guys what's up. And where we're at. So we're right there. You can see that guy on the ground. And it's not going to let me zoom in on him. There it goes. So you can see we're attached right there. We got major power lines right there. There's some cranes out there. But you got a bunch of, they're just right there. I mean, uh, not extremely close, but it could get, you know, hairy. Um, Take a look at our LMI here. So we're in good shape. Uh, we looks like we got a four mile an hour wind. I got a little tension on it. And they just gotta get it broke loose. Once they get it broke loose, then we'll be able to pull it out of there. Uh, see if I can get a better position for this uh, camera. And get you guys the best shot possible. So there's a pretty good view. We're gonna pull that one out of there. Like I said, it's get a little hairy because. We're in a really tight spot right there. There's not much room between the concrete wall you're looking at and the existing wall on the outside, which they've done with a bunch of railroad ties and I-beams. So we're loose now. You can see it swayed a little bit. I try to deter them from doing that and creating too much sway. Omar, Omar. Omar, I walked on you. Sorry. Uh, how are we looking up top there? So, if you heard that correctly, we're about 6 feet away. Okay, so we're about 16 feet away from the power lines. Uh, try not to get any closer than that. Right, I'm going to I'm going to boom up. I'm trying to keep the, that form as close as I can to that concrete wall because it's two smooth surfaces rubbing rubbing together, so it's not going to hurt nothing. Um, and we'll just go ahead and jump. We're going to jump right into it. So here we go. Pretty heavy form is sitting at about 2,600 pounds, so it's not light by any means. It's 
We're still good on our wind speed. We're sitting at about three miles an hour, so we don't have nothing to, nothing to worry nothing to worry about on the wind. Nothing to worry about on the wind. So, like I said, it's it's two smooth surfaces rubbing together, so it's not gonna hurt nothing. Like I said, I try to keep it as close as I can to that. When I get clear of the concrete wall, I have to get clear of the column and the rebar that's standing there, if you can see that. So I gotta raise it up a little, a little higher. When I'm in this position I'm in right here with the power lines, I never swing the crane left or right. I always boom up and get away from all of it as much as possible. As soon as I clear the rebar, I'll start booming up. So I've cleared the rebar. I'm going to start booming up. Wind speed is still good. There's a lot of concrete on, not a lot, it looks like there's chunks of concrete left on top. That's probably making for the extra weight, about 200 pounds. Because this form, I think, is right at 2,000 pounds. It's a pretty big form. Now, I'm trying to get my boom in enough so when I swing, my momentum, it's going to swing out. So, I'm going to drop it right there. I'm going to start my swing on it. We're about 45 feet from the tower. It'll allow me to get a full swing on it at full speed. We'll have to figure out where they're going to put this. It's pretty big. So. We'll start cabling down now. We'll put it on top of the other one? We want to put it on top of the other one. <clears throat> okay, so I'm gonna swing back a little bit just to catch this to catch a counter swing. I'm gonna, I got a column there. I'm trying to watch it's a rebar, just the rebar part. general vicinity, we'll see which way he's going to drag this thing. And the guy in the orange is very inexperienced. He doesn't really know what's going on. So they have a tendency, they have a tendency to drag it all over the place because they just don't know what to do. It makes a right, it makes it interesting because I'm trying to catch my counter swing and their counter swing, and it can be a real bear sometimes. And if they do it too much, I let them have it. Yeah, I'm gonna have to boom up, or we're gonna land it right on the corner of that. You need to go look at the yeah. Walk over there and look at it. You see the corner of the other one, so we're not gonna lay it on that corner. So I'm going to have to boom up and bring it closer to you. All right. See, it's just stuff like that. They don't pay attention. They kind of, I just, lazy, complacent, I don't know what it is. Inexperience. So. All right. It's, it's amazing how many jobs you have to do sometimes with this. All right, come on down. This other guy is going to try to swing the load. I, I love how they think they can control 2,000 pounds.
ready to start. Okay, we're doing it. Swing back over here and get another one, I'm sure. They're just running out of room to where to put them. Um, the area, as you get closer and closer, as we get closer to completion of just the parking deck, and that's all we're on right now, um, they're just going to eventually run out of room, and they're going to have to pull stuff out of here, and they have been. So... We're going to... Swing back over here. Harry, what's up? Every, what's up? I got the phone where I can't really see anything, so I'm just standing for a second. job has become like I'd say about 60 70 percent blind blind pigs the sets aren't too bad a lot a lot of blind sets but more blind pick than, than anything Fourteen hundred pounds, one thousand four hundred pounds. The peachy. Should be 
reducing on my distance. Just got to control all that pendulum swing. You have the long straps and then you got the long chain. So it'll create some pendulum swing if I swing too much. And when it gets like crazy, it, not crazy, but when it gets a little like it's doing now, I just get it low enough that they can grab it. I don't try to react to it because if you do, it just makes it, it seems it makes it worse. And if you can just get it low enough for them to grab a hold of it, unless you have an idiot like this guy in the orange, Alright, you're okay with that one. Then, uh... Here we go. 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 The guy in the orange is going to work with you. You tell him to pay attention to what he's doing. So he didn't get smacked in the face or something. I told him that for my protection. These guys, like I talked about in the last video, they get complacent and they don't want to, they'll turn their head away for one minute when a load is coming down. Okay, well. And if they put themselves in a position where they can get in trouble, yeah. where they can get in trouble, they're not going to blame me for it. If they can't be down there paying attention to what they're doing, then they don't need to be messing with uh, receiving loads. Pull another wall for him. I know you have a temper for a minute. Temporary boy. Temporary boy. Temporary boy. Temporary boy. Temporary boy. Ha 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 uh, towers getting hidden in the uh, parking garage because they're just they're wrapping the build they're wrapping the parking garage around it so another beautiful shot of the city we'll take a we'll take a gander outside why not it's warming up well that sun is bright One of the best investments I ever made was right there. Makes it a lot easier to get all your stuff up the crane. That's a good shot of the tower through the floor. And another shot of the crane. Yes, sir. Ain't no life like the tower crane life. Anyway, I hope everyone's having a blessed day. I know I am, getting to do what I love to do. No job in the world like this job. Absolutely love it. 
Absolutely. Anyway, I'm Jay Nye, the Tower Crane Guy. We're going to sign off for now. Remember, if it doesn't make dollars or you can put in your hand, it sure the hell isn't going to make any sense. You are only as good as your last pick, and I promise you guys, we'll see you on the next pick. Peace.